Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming. For those of you who are new to my channel, let me introduce you to the Jungle Beauty Goddesses. The fabric sculptures, cloth dolls you see sitting behind me are characters from my Jungle Beauty Goddess book series which inspired my Jungle Beauty Goddess Oracle cards who are going to give you a message today from your inner writer. Thank you so much for watching. To better align your mind, body, and soul with the butterfly color that most resonates with the message you need to hear, please take a moment to participate in a brief meditation by placing the tip of your tongue at the top of your mouth directly behind your teeth. Take in a deep breath to the count of nine, hold it to the count of nine, and release it to the count of nine. Do this three times. Wait a moment to allow your mind to settle into your spirit and your spirit to settle into your body. You will feel a shift in your energy when this happens. Use your intuition to select the butterfly color or colors that resonate with your beingness or listen to each message to tap into the collective mind. Thank you so much for watching. I call on forces higher than I to unleash the wisdom I hold inside. Let this message be compassionate and true to show someone what they must do. Tap into the infinite wisdom of your own inner guide. Ask it to reveal to you what is hidden deep inside. Take what you need and ignore what doesn't apply by selecting the color of the right butterfly. Your thoughts create your reality, so please keep this in mind when selecting a pick a card message to help you define your unconscious core beliefs that may be unknown at this time. Listen to the whispers of your own inner voice and let it help you make the true butterfly choice with the lessons and insights that will help you grow and lead you in the direction that you choose to go. Let's see what the Jungle Beauty Goddesses have to say to help you find your way. The links for the butterfly colors are located in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. Hello darling, if you selected the blue butterfly, this reading is for you in terms of the message from your inner writer. So let's see what your inner writer wants you to know. I'm excited. So the first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara who represents your roof chakra. This is connected to the earth, your your earth suit, your mission, why you're here, child, your community, the elders, and discover what you do better than most. This is your path to prosperity. Man, your inner writer is saying that there is, first of all, this is so good because it's saying that you have a story to tell and what whatever it is you do better than most whether you do hair or you do nails you bake cupcakes there is something that you do that the average person struggles with and this is what you should write about so just think about it you may you may think it's not a big deal because you do it all the time and it's so easy for you but this is your ticket this is what you should focus on the next message from your inner writer is talk less and love more so basically this um jungle beauty goddess kalahari represents your heart chakra and it, it has to do with following your heart and you know just it's not just you know love but this whole what do we love about life what do we 
want to contribute to the planet while we're here. So when she says talk less and love more, basically, I have found when I have an idea and I talk about it, it actually deflates the energy that I need to accomplish my goal. So find out what it is that you do better than most, right? Don't go around telling everybody about, oh, I'm going to write a book about blah, blah, blah. Don't do that. Keep it to yourself and just actually start writing your book because this is going to help you finish your book faster and with more enthusiasm and more energy. So it's kind of like, I want to think, what's popping in my head is like a balloon. You know how when you every time you talk, you let air out? And then when it's time for you to actually have some energy left to execute your dream, you really have nothing left because you've just talked it away. So think of what you think of this wonderful book that you need to write and then don't tell anybody about it and just get started writing it. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara. Again, we're pulling in that earth energy, which has to do with your mission and your purpose as well. It says, listen to your body. Oh my God, you have such a good hand. Because Katara represents your root chakra, which represents your money, which also represents your earth mission and your connection with your community. So basically, if you are to listen to your body, um, your body is telling you, like for example, um, are you a morning writer? Are you a night writer? Like, kind of figure out your writing schedule. Listen, like, I know when I want to write fiction, I have to write at night. I have to write with the, the entities and the ghosts and the beings from another realm child. We have to be up at 3 a.m. and it's on and popping. When I need to write nonfiction, like research papers or things for my job, I got to do it in the morning. You know, I have to do it like, you know, I would say starting at about 7 a.m., maybe 8.30, between 8 and 12. I have, I don't usually write between 12 p.m. and I would say maybe around 10. Those are just not good hours for me. I don't have the mindset for it. <laughs> I don't have the mindset for it. So the writer in you wants you to listen to your body and figure out your your best writing schedule when are you the freshest when do ideas come to you do they come to you in the shower do they come for you, to you when you're walking um, what is the best way for you to write do you want to write on a computer do you want to write on a pad so listen to your body and it will direct you to the best way for you to be able to execute your book the next card I have for you, God, this is such an awesome man, man. It's from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari, who represents the heart chakra. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari's message to you is, listen to your heart. You couldn't have had a better hand. Whoever picked this hand, child, you're a writer. You are a writer. There's a book inside of you that wants to be born. And if I were you, I would turn off this video. Mm-hmm. And I would get started on my book because you have a book inside of your heart. It says, listen to your heart. Okay. So that your inner writer, your inner writer is like trying to like really communicate with you. Your inner writer is ready to, you know, get some, get this book out. That, that is, this hand is vibrating so strong. So listen to your body in terms of what time is best for you to write, how you, what conditions you need to be in to excel as a writer um, listen to your heart what subjects are that really make your heart sing you ha have a card that says um what was that oh the card child discover what you do better than most this is your path to prosperity listen to your heart your book wants to be born okay you need to take notes Whatever book that's been on your heart, whatever you've gone through that can help somebody else live a better life, you really need to get started. Don't talk about it, be about it. Listen to your body, figure out the best time of day, come up with a writing schedule. Um, listen to your heart, just, you know, what's on your heart, not what other people want you to write about. Or remember, you want to keep it to yourself because the, the less you talk about it, the faster you'll be able to write your book. So now I'm going to see if there is a message for you from your star alien being. 
Is there an additional message for this person's inner writer? Write what you know. Don't worry about perfection. But the most important thing that we want you to do is to be consistent. Consistency will take you to the finish line. The reason most people never finish their book is because they're not consistent. Begin writing today. Even if you don't use the first few chapters, you have to get through the bad book to get to the good book. So start writing immediately. Come up with a time that suits your personality and continue. You are a gifted writer. You have a book inside of you that the world needs to hear. Wow, I knew that. We we agreed. Yes, whoever is watching this video, you are, yeah, you got something to offer in terms of writing. I really hope this video helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello darling, if you selected the pea green butterfly, this reading is for you with a message from your inner writer slash author. I'm so excited. So we're going to see what the message is. First, I'm going to go over the cards and then I am going to listen for a message from your star alien being. So the first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib's message to you is no. Mm, we're talking about your crown chakra, baby. Your connection to your higher self. No. I love that. Okay. No. What do we, what does my inner writer want me to know, child? Chakra. So we pull it into me again, crown chakra. This is serious. And she says, You are one with all that is. Somebody has a message. The next card I have for you is from Jenna Beauty Goddess Chobi. And her message to you from your inner writer is be accountable. Somebody know what they're supposed to do. And somebody know already what their purpose is and what their mission is, what their book is, what their topic is. And they need to be accountable. During Journey Beauty Goddess, Chalby pulls in our third chakra, which has to do with our self-esteem and also our ability to motivate ourselves and to be consistent about going after our dreams and goals. So far, it just sounds like this is a person who know what they're supposed to be doing. They are connected to their higher self. They, they, they know, okay, but they're being, they're not accountable. Okay, they're just be accountable. Like, quit playing, quit playing. But let me see what this last card, because it may let you off the hook. Maybe it's not your fault that you haven't finished your book. Maybe. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to see what this last card is saying. So the last card is from Jungle Beauty. Oh my God. Jungle Beauty Goddess Chobi and Nami. And it says, plant seeds that bear the fruit of your soul. Oh my God. Your inner writer is telling you to write what is on your heart, what is in your soul, what you know you're supposed to be doing. Plant seeds that bear the fruit of your soul. And then what do you have? You have two cards 
by Jenga Beauty Goddess and me who represent oh my god that represents the soul so that tells you to know represents you know what it is you're supposed to be doing you are one with all that is you you are connected with the universe you have a message you know what that message is you have everything you need when you say when it says you're connected and you're on your crown chakra you are a person who is procrastinating and you're not um you know your inner writer says don't play don't play with me and then your card it says be accountable so you have oh my god your inner writer wants you to be accountable your inner writer wants you to follow through on what it is that you know you're supposed to be doing so you are a person who man your soul mm, plant seeds to bear the fruit of your soul what they're saying is don't plant seeds like say for example you really have this book you want to write but you decide well I guess I'm just gonna you know go and do something else like you know maybe I'm just gonna go and be an accountant because it's safe and I'll always be able to eat and I have a job and I can take care of my family and your hand is telling you to plant seeds to bear the fruit of your soul okay and you will and know child know that you're going to be taken care of because you are a part of all that is but you need to be accountable. So I, I'm getting the impression that you are a person, maybe you've started a book, you know what book you want to write, but for some reason, yeah, you're just not being consistent and you're not following through, but your inner writer needs you to bring this dream to fruition. So now I'm going to see if there is a message from your star alien being in turn from your inner writer. Is there an additional message for this, for this person from their inner writer? You have been selected to tell a story because you have the background and all of the necessary characteristics to bring this story to life. This is why the universe chose you to tell this story. Please do not hesitate. We want you to concentrate. We want you to focus your energy on your divine calling. Do not worry about the money. The money will come. Worry about making your writing a priority in your life. When you make your writing a priority, you will see the fruits of your labor. The other thing we want to tell you is that when we give you a story to bring to life and you have been selected, after so much time, we find someone else to give the story to opportunity to this happens all the time because people procrastinate we're asking you to please move forward with all of your dreams you have everything you need and we are here to assist you okay anyway that's the message from your star alien being for the green olive green light butterfly I really hope this message helps someone thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video hello darling if you selected the hot pink butterfly this message is for you. So first, I'm going to go over your cards to give you my collective intuition. And then I'm going to listen to the Appetite Skull 
gemstone being to see if there's an additional message for you from your inner writer. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby's message to you is you have the courage to stand up for yourself. So your inner writer feels like you need to let your voice be heard, right? And write this story that's probably going to save millions of lives. Chalby represents our third chakra, which has to do with our, that's our power center for our self-esteem and our assertion and um, when we stand up for ourselves and the whole nine. So I'm getting the impression that your inner writer really wants you to write this book that's going to, you know, not just help you, but help other people as well. So the next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara, who represents your root chakra, your earth's mission, your relationship with your community, your money child. Don't take your physical experience for granted. Oh my God, this is so good. Like what popped in my head? Like if you're a person who has been in your physical experience is like, say you've been in an abusive relationship and you know what it took to elevate your self-esteem and to change your life that's your book so whatever has happened to you in your life where you have overcome obstacles this is the book that your inner writer wants you to share with the world and that ties right back to you have the courage to stand up for yourself so oh my god you have such an amazing story inside of you oh is i can just tell just from these cards you your inner writer is like look we gonna tell this story okay the next card i have for you is from jungle beauty goddess chobby you put in some third chakra energy some power energy and it's the, oh my god look at here it says unleash unleash your confidence <gasps> There is something so amazing about you. There is something you've been through that so many people in this world can benefit from. But you need to stand up for yourself. You need to have confidence in yourself. And you need to share your life experiences. I got one more card for you. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess of Fire. And Jungle Beauty Goddess of Fire's message to you is... Oh, I can't wait to see what is sorry you can create whatever you want and you got the best hand your inner writer your inner writer says you know all that stuff we've been through it's time to tell our story your story is your glory you know that right your story is your glory your inner writer is begging you to please stand up and tell the story that the world needs to hear what you've been through because you can create whatever you want you can create listen tell the story that's inside of you tell it you can create whatever you want you have a story a gut-wrenching story that honestly will save lives i can tell i can i can tell that story needs to be told so let me see if there's an additional message for you from the Appetite Skull Gemstone Being. Is there an additional message for this person from their inner writer? Please know that writing your book will bring about the healing that your heart is seeking. When you write from your soul, you will inspire and touch so many people long after your soul has left the planet. Do not be afraid of your truth. Your truth gives other people permission to tell their truth. And each time someone shares their truth, it brings about a healing. Yes, it will be very emotional to write this book that's inside of you, but you need to release these emotions. 
to help you bring in more joy and more light into your life, but it will also change the lives of others. You got a good book. You have a really good book inside of you. You're an inner writer. But it's a painful book. It's a, it's a story that is something you probably don't really like to talk about. But you need to write about it. And heal yourself. And heal others. I really hope this video helped someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello darling, if you selected the purple butterfly, this reading is for you. First, I am going to go over the cards to look at the message from your inner writer and then we will listen to your gemstone skull being for additional information. So the first card I have for you is what is the message from your inner writer? It's from Jungle Beauty Goddess Ahara, who represents our throat chakra, the chakra responsible for communication and expression of our inner truth and our purpose and creativity. And her message to you is how do you how you think will determine your happiness. So your inner writer is concerned with how you think will determine your happiness. Your inner writer wants you to have a more positive attitude about writing. Like I think what, what popped in my head is that you may be thinking, well, nobody's going to read the book, or I'm not that great of a writer, or I don't know where I'm going to get it published, or it's going to cost too much, everybody has a book, and your inner writer is saying, that is hogwash, that is garbage, please stop thinking negative, because how you think will determine your happiness, and in order for you to be able to communicate your ideas and express yourself as a writer, you need to let go of all of your negative um, thinking and this self-talk that is, um, you know, beating yourself up. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara, who represents our root chakra. And her message to you from your inner writer is, your calling is what you answer to. I really love this card. Your calling is what you answer to. So listen, if you let people berate you and tell you you're not a writer and that you that's not your calling, then a, that's gonna happen. It goes right back to the first card about what you think about determines your happiness. But you don't have to answer to that bull crap. You don't have to answer to people putting you down or telling you you can't write or your writing isn't good enough. Your inner writer says your calling is what you answer to. And if you know in your heart that you are a writer, you get to writing because you answer to yourself. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara. Again, you're pulling in that earth suit that that um, root chakra which is responsible for your wealth and prosperity oh my god your wealth is weaved into the fabric of your earth suit this is such a good card listen your calling is what you answer to and it says your wealth is weaved into the fabric of your earth suit your inner writer is telling you listen you need to stop thinking negative and you need to stop putting yourself down and you need to stop listening to other people because your calling is inside of you. If you, if you have a book inside of you, an article, an idea, or something you want to write, you only answer to yourself. And it says your wealth is weaved into the, 
into the fabric of your earth suit. This means that the life experiences that you have, the things that you have gone to through in your body, those experiences belong to you and only you can write about them. So there is something that you have experienced, ideas that you have that belong to you. That is your calling. And no matter what anyone else says, you are a writer because your soul told you so. Okay? And I have one last card for you from your inner writer. And this card is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara, who is responsible for um, our throat chakra, communication, expression of our ideas, our purpose, our creativity. And her message to you is, Read as much as you can before asking questions. This is so good. So listen, you have everything inside of you to be everything that you want to be, okay? But you have to believe in yourself as a writer. So you pull two Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara cards and two Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara. Sahara represents your throat and your ability to communicate, your life purpose, your expression of your ideas, the acknowledgement and recognition of truth. And then you pull two chakra, uh, root chakra cards, which is Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara. Okay, so Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara represents your money, and but also your purpose and your connection to your mission on the planet. So this is a really, really good hand. But the only thing that's holding you back from writing that book is how you think will determine your happiness. You don't, you really need to read as much as possible. Read as much as you can before asking questions. Like for example, um, let's just say you're saying, well, I don't really know how to, to put together an ebook. And so you go and talk to somebody who tell you how horrible it is. Oh, I had a really bad experience when I did Blase Splee and this didn't work out for me. And so what's happening is that you're getting this misinformation but the cards are saying, read as much as you can before asking questions. Don't go around asking people like, well, how do you publish a book? No, there's read it. Google it. Find it out for yourself because sometimes people try to discourage you because they don't have the courage to go after their own dreams. So, and to remember that there's a story inside of you that only you can tell. It's, it's weaved in the fabric of your earth suit. Your life experiences as a child, your job, your relationships, the things you've gone through. There's a, a fiction story inside of you. There's a story that only you are equipped to tell because it is weaved in the fabric of your being. Your calling is what you answer to, okay? So don't answer to people who are telling you, you're not a writer. You a writer? <laughs> you gotta, no, mm -mm, no, you got to ignore these people. So you you have to and you have to change your negative thinking. Oh, I'm not a good writer. Oh, I, I you know I don't write well, or I have you know I make a lot of grammatical errors. That's, that's what editors are for, darling. So no, your inner writer wants you to get your courage together and go ahead. Stop listening to other people. Do your own research. There's a lot of information out there. Listen to yourself and write the book that only you are meant to tell that the, the book that only you can you know bring to fruition because it is a part of your mission a part of your story and um, now I'm going to see if there's a message from your gemstone skull being and let's see if there's an additional message do we have an additional message for this person in terms of a message from their inner writer or inner author Everyone is not going to like your book. But you are not writing a book to be liked by everyone. Let go of trying to please people. Writing a book requires personal discipline and a shedding of the ego. The writing gods the writing muses, your inspiration is not going to come to you as long as you do not believe or see yourself as a writer. 
If you do not believe in your ability to write and you do not see yourself as a writer, the universe cannot assist you with that line of thinking. You have a story to tell, but you must first believe that you have a right and that you're worthy of telling that story. We want you to believe in yourself and believe in your story and the universe will assist you from there. Wow. I really hope this video helps someone. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.